accelerator model. So in case of accelerator model, what happens is that uh, uh, the firms, they are going to increase the investment with the changes in income, with the changes in GDP. Uh, so supposedly there is an increase in GDP. So firms are going to respond by increasing in investment. Uh, firms, they have to maintain their fixed capital output ratio. So in case if uh, demand is increasing, increase in GDP is there, firms are also going to increase their capital investment to meet that increased demand. That is what the, the accelerator model is. So supposedly your uh, capital is the function of output, right? And uh, this small k greater than 1 is nothing but the capital output ratio. You can see this. And uh, the change in output is output in year t plus 1 minus output in year t. So, desired capital stock desired capital stock to meet, uh, to keep that uh, uh, capital output ratio constant, desired capital stock in period T plus 1 would be what? Your uh, KT plus 1 equals to small k YT plus 1. That is there because I want to maintain that small k. So if output has increased, I have to increase the capital also. Change in capital stock is what? Delta KT plus 1. So that is what? So you can also write here as Delta YT plus 1. So this is uh, KT plus 1. Mm -hmm. This way. So it is <clears throat> KT plus 1 minus KT. So what is KT plus 1 minus KT? Small k yt plus 1 minus small k yt. Huh? So that means what? Small k yt plus 1 minus yt. So that is small k delta yt plus 1. So net investment <clears throat> is it plus 1 is equal to delta kt plus 1 which is small k delta yt plus 1. Uh, so you can see that, that in case if the output is going to rise, investment is going to be positive. So, if output rises, investment is positive. If output falls, in order to maintain the fixed capital output ratio, you would need uh, lesser capital. So investment is also going to fall. If output falls, investment is negative. And if there is no change in output, then to keep the capital output ratio constant, you also do not need uh, any increase or decrease in capital, hence investment is also going to remain same. So there is no change in investment. So investment is zero in that case. So if output, no change in capital and investment is zero. So if in if output uh, remains constant, if output remains constant, so investment is zero.
investment is zero. What do you mean by this fixed capital output ratio? Let me just write one line also for that. So, for example, in order to produce 100 units of output, you need one machine. Now, supposedly demand has increased to 200 units of output. So, you would need two machines, right? So, the fixed capital output ratio. fixed capital output ratio states that if one machine was needed was needed to produce 100 units of output and say demand increases to 200 units of output. Two hundred units of output. So uh, you would need one more machine uh, to produce two hundred units of output. So one machine can produce hundred, another machine can produce hundred. So investment in another machine would be needed to meet this increased demand. <clears throat> to meet this increased demand, right? Uh, so uh, the another uh, uh, point is about uh, the gross investment. So when you when you talk about net investment, uh, it is uh, not taking into account the depreciation, right? So gross investment. So let me just write a uh, few point about the gross investment or replacement investment. So replacement investment is what? So uh, because uh, of the use of the capital equipment over time, there is a natural wear and tear of the capital. So in order to replace that obsolete capital, firms have to make some kind of investment. Uh, in case if they're not going to make that investment, productive capacity is going to fall. So just to maintain the existing productive capacity, they would need some investment in order to just replace that one out capital. So if one machine has gone, one machine is, uh, is depreciated, one machine has become obsolete, you need to invest in that machine now. Nah? Because in case if you don't, then that machine has gone from, uh, uh, from, uh, from, from the accounts, right? So the productive capacity is going to fall then. But if you will have that machine, so you have replaced that old machine with a new machine. So it has not increase the productive capacity. You have not added the extra machine. You have just added that much which is going to maintain the productive capacity. So at whatever level you were earlier, just to maintain that, you are adding up uh, you are adding up few machines. Right? So how do we write this uh, gross investment? <clears throat> so we write gross investment as uh, net investment plus replacement investment. So it is net investment is the addition to the capital stock. This is the addition to the capital stock. And this is, uh, this is a replacement investment. This is just for replacing the depreciated capital. 
This is just for replacing the depreciated capital. Just for replacing depreciated capital. Right. So sometimes uh, uh, instead of writing it in this way, in terms of net investment, we also write our expression in terms of gross investment. So which is uh, small k yt plus 1 minus yt plus rt plus 1 plus rt plus 1. Right? Uh-huh. So this is what I want to do in this class. I hope it was useful to you. Thank you, Vita.